So what does it mean to learn InterSystems Ensemble? Well, let's move back in time 50 years, where designers in Massachusetts Institute of Technology were facing quite interesting challenge that derived from healthcare and banking industry. The challenge was increased demand for high level access to data storage. Remember that at that time, the size of a hard drive was whooping 5 megabytes, increasing to 250 megabytes in 1979. So, as you can notice, designers didn't have really uh, much uh, support from uh, hardware side. The hardware um, was uh, still evolving, developing, and um, there were not much resources for uh, getting um, fast data, access to that data, storing that data, and so on. So all they could do is just rely heavily on maths, physics, and they came up with brilliant solution. They came up with multi-purpose, general purpose programming language called MAMPS. This language allowed them to have extreme speed with accessing the data from uh, the storage at that time. And MAMPS, which stands for Massachusetts General Hospital Unit Multipurpose System, was the first NoSQL language. NoSQL means basically it is not based on uh, uh, relational databases. It is purely object oriented or even not that. It's just totally different concept. So they came up with uh, NoSQL far, far away before the NoSQL uh, concept was invented. So since then, in 1979, remember, the same year where uh, the hard drive size, maximum hard drive was 250 megabytes. That year, InterSystems was funded purely for commercializing MAMPS. And they started evolving the language to the next level. In 1997, they came up with their flagship product called Cache which is object-oriented management, data management system purely based on MAMPS. And now we are getting to recent days where they started introducing another application based on MAMPS, based on Cache, and that application is InterSystems Ensemble. Ensemble combines integration server, application server, and database all in one. It is a platform for rapid integration, rapid connectivity, and the development of new connectable applications. Since then, since 50 years ago, because actually everything started with um, healthcare industry and the banking, since then more and more industries start um, using this type of technology. Um, healthcare, banking was the first, but then you've got government, you've got insurance, on and on and on. Even European Space Agency, based in, uh, here in Spain, they um, utilize InterSystems Cache database to support their um, Gaia mission to map the Milky Way with unprecedented precision. So you can see uh, the gravity and power of what that system can really do for your business, for your organization. And it's actually quite interesting because most recently more and more small and medium-sized companies become aware of uh, necessity for a more robust ways of handling the data. And 
here is your opportunity to learn a skill that you might be able to use it for your own business. You might be using it for your organization. And you can be sure that this technology will be utilized in 22nd century.